child, I'll beat that old steam mill down. Beat that old steam mill down. Hello, everybody. Welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. I'm Ryan Spearman. This is volume 12 of the Clawhammer Banjo series. Today we're going to learn a new tune, John Henry, and also a new tuning and a new left-hand technique. A lot of work to do, so grab your banjos and let's make some noise. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is get into this new tuning. This is open C tuning. Um, we've done double C thus far, and that's the tuning we would use up to this point to play any, any tunes or songs in the key of C. Um, and that's probably going to be your go-to tuning for a lot of your playing. For most climber players that I've experienced, use the double C tuning for their key of C needs. We're going to use the open C today, so this will have the same idea as our open D and our open G when we strum all five strings. It's going to be an open C chord. Um, so all we have to do is change our first string, which right now is tuned to a D. I'm in double C right now. So get yourself there, and then from that point, we just change our first string, our D string. We're going to move it up to an E. That's a whole step, so it's a little bit of traveling. Um, so it should sound something like this. Just that first string. That's our open C. Now I'm going to fine tune that, and then uh, we'll get into the, the techniques of this tune. Oh yeah, and one thing before we get into the nuts and bolts of playing this tune, uh, I wanted to mention kind of the, the history of the style that I'm approaching with this arrangement. This is a tune that I originally learned on the guitar, an open tuning style on the guitar. Um, it's fairly common. I'm not exactly sure the origins, the sources of this particular style of arrangement for this tune. This is an old folk tune that goes way, way back. You can find, if you're not already familiar with this tune, you'll you'll be able to find just a myriad of uh approaches and different lyrics and probably even some different melodies to to this song. It goes back to an old folk story of uh, John Henry, American folk tale hero. He was a leader of a chain gang and in the late 1800s there was a lot of chain gangs that worked on the rail, railroad lines in the southeast and they did a lot of basically carried the nine pound hammers around and and drove a lot of steel into uh, laying the rails down. Um, eventually, around that time, the steam drill was invented and started to be used on a lot of railroad lines. And so this is a tune about John Henry, one legendary worker who decided he wasn't going to be beaten by a, a steam drill. It was a man, man versus machine kind of story. So he challenged the steam drill to a competition. And uh, depending on the song or the version of the story you hear, you usually get that he wins the competition, but also dies in the process. So it's a pretty important story in, in the American folk world. And the version I said, like I said, the version I know comes from a, a guitar version. Um, and I believe I maybe first heard it from the playing of Jesse Fuller or maybe Steve James. So you might want to check those out. I took those ideas and just moved them over to this open C banjo. Uh, arrangement. So what we're going to do is play most of the melody on the first string, a little bit of it on the second and third, and we're also going to incorporate some bends with the left hand. All right, 
Uh, I'll, I'll be quiet now and get us into the tune. Let's start with measure one of the tablature. We'll break it down a piece at a time. All right, measure one, we're starting on the eighth fret of the first string. This is going to be our, our melody notes are just going to kind of walk down the first string for the first few. And uh, we're starting right here on the eighth fret. We'll go through the measure, then I'll talk a little bit about what I was doing there on the intro when you watched me play it earlier. Um, nothing too new here if you've been following along through all the volumes. We've got boom chicka double thumma is the way we like to describe this rhythm pattern for this measure. You may also notice that when we get to the second half of the measure we have a note in parentheses and that indicates a phantom stroke. So let's let me play it for you slowly. So notice I'm missing that first note of the second half of the measure. <laughs> <laughs> 